mermaid who walked the plank. There was a pirate fierce and bad. He was so thick, folk thought he was mad. When he did something very daft, they rolled about, he made them laugh. He fought a battle fierce and bloody, but after it was just plain shoddy. He marooned his enemies in the usual way, but they escaped in a boat he'd left behind the next day. Then there was the time he captured treasure. He got very drunk and had much pleasure. But he forgot to leave someone sober on guard who would stand in the entrance of the yard. So when Pirate Izzy and Pirate Lara too, on their famous galleon, sailed into view, they were able to steal away the golden pile and be miles away, and at him did laugh and smile. His crew of villains were faithful, but they were just a stupid few. Most who signed with him did that day rue of being a pirate. He did not have a clue. He captured a handsome and rich prince to get a ransom so large you would wince. But the king did not want his son back. Now to see it steal an unwanted prince is just slack. So he had to keep the prince at sea and really got as irritated with him as can be. To Bonnie Scotland he brought his ship and there he saw a lovely girl slip into the water and he saw her transform into a mermaid during a violent storm. When he saw her go on land again, he felt in his heart a lover's pain. He did not court her. No, he had her brought onto his ship. How she had fought. He told her she must love him so. She told him rudely where to go. She was called Heather. She was his treasure. But she refused to return his love and saw the prince standing on the bridge above and fell for him. That had not been the plan. When the pirate saw she loved another man, he became as evil as only a pirate could and he did something he never should. He made the prince walk the plank. This as behaviour was wicked and rank. Heather swore she'd never love him. And by now we know he really was rather dim. In his anger he made her walk the plank too. She went looking sad. But in her heart joy sprang anew. He had forgotten that mermaids can swim. You really do believe by now that he was dim. She transformed and swam down with all her might and saved the prince who had had a fright. They swam away and lived happily ever after, thinking of their captor, produced much laughter, and had a life of happiness and sweetest bliss. They enjoyed love's truest kiss. The stupid pirate was now so mad, thinking of the prince having what he had not had. So now you know why a mermaid walked the plank. But it made her happy. So the pirate, she should thank Avashi.